Okay, this is the challenge for all the pre-calculus students. We have two equations on the spot. The first one is sine of 2 theta is equal to sine theta. And for the second one, we have sine of pi theta. That's equal to sine theta. Maybe for the first one, you are thinking to use the double angle identity for sine 2 theta. Sure, but can you do the similar thing for sine of pi theta? Do we even have an identity for this? I don't know. If you do know about an identity for this, please let me know. But anyway, though, please pause the video and try them first. All right, cool. I really believe you guys really try it, all right? So for the first one, I will actually show you guys the traditional way, which I will actually use the double angle identity for sine. So we have sine of 2 theta. This is going to be 2 sine theta times cosine theta. And the right-hand side, we will have sine theta. And the reason we have to do that is because, well, first of all, we cannot just cancel out the sign. Otherwise, you only get one value for theta. The truth is, we have infinitely many solutions for these two equations. And the problem here is that we have sine of 2 theta, and this is sine theta. The inputs are different. That's why we use the double angle identity right here, so that we have sine theta, cosine theta right here, right? And also the two in front, of course. And now we can just continue bring the sine to the other side, factor it out, so we get sine theta here, and then this right here will give us 2 cosine theta, and then this to the other side becomes minus 1, right? That's equal to 0. And now we have to consider when we have sine theta is equal to 0, or this is equal to 0, in another word, cosine theta is equal to 1 half. And now we just have to solve both of them individually. For the first one, I will refer to the unit circle. Well, sine is the y value on the unit circle. We want sine to be 0. That means we have to be right here and right here. Namely, the angle has to be 0, pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, and so on, so on, so on. And it can also go backwards. So here we can say theta is just equal to n pi, where n is just an integer. All right, cool. Now, for the second one, we have cosine theta is equal to 1 half. Here, I will show you guys the reference triangle method for this. Well, cosine on the x and y plane is x over r, which is the triangle looks like this. x has to be 1, and r has to be 2. And you see, we actually have a special right triangle, 1 square root of 3 and 2. So this right here is going to be what? 60 degrees. But we are all adults now, so we'll say this is pi over 3. Right? So that's good. So let me just write down this first. Theta is equal to, we started at pi over 3. But we can actually start right here and then keep adding or we'll subtract 2 pi. So I will just put down plus 2 pi n. Right? Multiple of 2 pi's. Well, this is one of the reasons why that a lot of pre-calculus students and also maybe trick students that you guys don't like this kind of equations too much because you have a lot of things to consider, right? And we have infinitely many answers. Well, this is not the only way to draw such a reference triangle. We could have drawn the triangle down below this way. Because the x value is still equal to 1, right? Now it's purple. And then the r is still equal to 2. But here we'll say this right here is what? Negative pi over 3. So if you look at this right here, what we can do is starting at negative pi over 3 and then we add 2 pi n so you have all these three expressions that you have to write down and in the end maybe you also want to say n is an integer somewhere so let me just put this down right here and this is the notation to show that n is an integer you don't really have to write it down as a sentence you can just put that down as the notation so that's pretty much it now again if you look at the second one, this is the main deal of the night or the day, depending on if you are looking at, if you are watching at this during the day or during the night. We cannot cancel the sign. Yeah, just like what I showed you. Why? Because sign is not injective. Remember the word I showed you guys on the other video, right? So how exactly can we handle this? Well, you see how we have a lot of situations to consider, like the 2n pi, etc, etc. That's when we got the first angle and then we add that to here, right? The truth is, you can have done the same thing inside right here. And uh, just have to do it carefully though. So now let me show you those. Let me show you guys how we can actually achieve that. 
First off, we have to consider cases. This is case 1. So I will write down sine of pi theta. This right here is equal to sine of theta. All right. So far, so good. But because the period of sine is 2 pi, just like the things we talked about earlier, so I'm just going to come here and then just go ahead and put down plus 2m pi. So it's the multiple of 2 pi like this, yeah? And you might be wondering, why did I add this to the other side? We could, but you might be thinking, if we add it to the other side, wouldn't we get like a negative looking answer? Don't worry about it, because n is just an integer, so it can be positive or negative. So if your answer has that negative sign in front of your n, whatever, it's okay. So let's just do it to the easier angle, which is this. And now let me tell you, once you put this down inside here, you can legitimately cancel out the sign. And then you can just write this down as pi theta is equal to theta plus 2 um, pi. And now we can just easily solve for theta. So let's do this in your head. Move this to the other side, right? So we have this 2 um, pi on the top over. So this is going to be pi minus 1 and just divide it by that. So we have this. Right, so that's the first case. Now, here is the second case. Uh, just two cases, right? just two cases. Just like this, you have two cases. You might be wondering, what in the world is the second case? Didn't we just talk about that sine has period of 2 pi? Don't we just need to add the 2 and pi and we'll be done? No. <laughs> All right. Here is the deal. So let me just write this down again. So pretty much the same speech so far. I'm just going to put on sine of pi theta. This right here is equal to sine of. Well, I'm going to show you guys from the unit circle. So let me just put it down right here. I don't like to just tell you guys to memorize the formulas or identities. If you understand the unit circle and also sine being the y value on the unit circle, you can actually come up with a lot of identities on your own. Have a look. Again, sine is the y value, so let's say we have this point right here with the corresponding y value here, and we have the angle, let's say from here to here is theta. Good. Well, can you think about if there's any place that has the same y value as well? Yes, it's just you go to the other side, right here, right? They have the same y value, they are both positive y right here. Cool. Now, can you think about uh, expression from here to here, like this angle measure? Well, we know all the way from here to here is 180 degrees, but since we are all dots now, we will say pi. And this angle and that angles are the same, so from here to here is just pi minus theta. Yes, sine of theta is equal to sine of pi minus theta. But that's just one expression. We need to come up with infinitely many like situation, all the possibilities, just like this right here, right? So this is how we're actually going to do it. Instead of looking at this y, I'll actually count down right here. And this is going to give us negative y, isn't it? And now you can see this is angle theta. But if you rotate it backwards, this becomes negative theta. And the point that we are doing this is because now you see this negative y, this point right here, and this point right here with the positive y, they are on the same line. So I can just come right here and then rotate 180 degrees or just pi, right? So that's the idea. What we are going to do is I'm actually going to put down negative theta here. All right? We have to consider negative theta and then, well, I'm actually not going to do negative theta plus 2 pi or 2 pi n, whatever. Because if you start right here, negative theta, if you add 2 pi, you actually come back right here, which that will give you negative y. That's not what you want. You want to end up right here. So you actually have to go add a pi and add another 2 pi. So in another word, you actually have to start right here and you add 3 pi. All right? So you can get to this point right here. And the next one is just you add another 2 pi. So 3 pi plus 2 pi is 5 pi, and then 7 pi, and then 8, 9 pi, and so on, so on, so on. And you can also do it backwards. So yes, the deal is that we are going to add 
all the odd multiples of pi. So we'll write it down as 2n plus 1 or minus 1 doesn't matter. I'll just put down plus 1 because again, uh, and it's an integer, so I'll just do it like this. And then this is it. This expression is actually the same as sine theta. And the truth is, to solve this question right here, you can actually use the same strategy. You can just put this right there and put that right there and then consider both cases. And you can be happy to cancel out the sign and this is legitimate. So now you can just finish the question. Pi theta equals negative theta plus 2m plus 1 pi. And then this stays, this moves to the other side. So theta equals, we have 2m plus 1 pi over pi plus 1. So again, n is an integer, n is an integer. In the end, of course, we box our answers. Here, be sure you have both of them, right? Okay, if you learned something new in this video, and if you want to find a place to learn more math that's usually not taught in school, then check out Brilliant. Brilliant is a problem-solving based website and app, and they have over 60 interactive courses in math, science, and computer science. Their goal is to help you to be successful in STEM. They puzzle you, surprise you, and expand your understanding of the modern world. I really like how they lay out their courses like a story because that way it's much easier for you guys to understand and it's more interactive as well. If you have a goal for this year, maybe you want to get stronger in algebra, trick, pre-calc, or maybe you just want to learn something new such as cryptocurrency or quantum computing. If that's the case, then you can use the link in the description brilliant.org slash blackpenrepen because this way it will give you a 20% off discount for your annual premium subscription. Finally, I want to thank you for checking them out and big thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. So this is how you legitimately cancel out sine if you have sine whatever is equal to sine of whatever like this, right? Pretty cool, huh? Now, uh, you guys can try this question on the screen. Cosine of pi theta is equal to cosine of theta. What's the answer for that? Leave a comment down below. Let me know. Right? So that's it.